and I can't get mad at that. Um, slight uh, bitterness. I just caught a little bit of bitterness. I but, too, yeah. But. guys we're gonna try whatever's in this box and you would think well you ordered something you should know but I ordered a lot of stuff so and I've ordered a lot of whiskey so we're gonna see what's in this box right now how about that we'll get that side all right I don't know if I can handle it so we get it from, uh, I got this from Wooden Cork. So I've ordered several things. I got $10 off. <coughs> what is that? Oh, what might that be? Well, we're good. We can do one at a time like that. Huh. I didn't know this was going to be all this process. I don't know. I'm going to take this off. Yeah. yeah. Got here. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh wow! You know what? This, I just realized. I remembered this now. Look at this. Oh, is this that peach stuff? This is the Crown Royal salted caramel. Oh, Crown Royal peach. But you know what? I, I think we're gonna wait on these because we're gonna do a, a flavored whiskey review. So I'm not trying these today. We're gonna hold off with the Crown. Royal. Guess you'll just have to come back. Peach, which is very hard to find. Or I'll just. Yeah, there you go. So that I forgot I'd ordered that. Now here you go. In this box. <laughs> now we're talking. All right. Redwood Empire. Redwood Empire, so, and they threw in a bottle of uh, Evan Williams, which, who doesn't need that place, right? Yeah, I think you can use it for something. Guys, this is pretty cool. Now this stuff, you got me a bottle of the uh, Lost Monarch, and um, I have to say it didn't last very long. And I, did I ever get it? I don't think I've ever tried it, unless I was, you uh, know, uh, taste test somewhere and then I ordered this I ordered both of them because it's hard to get in Virginia and uh, I love this look at this bottle this is uh, called grizzly bear on this, they're a bonded one. Yeah, bottled and bond. bond. Straight bourbon whiskey. No, I hadn't had that, so that'll be. Well, this is, to listen to the mash bill. It's 69% corn, 22% rye, 5% malted barley, and 4% wheat. Now, that is a little different. All right. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and do it. Can you do it like that? That easy? Well, I took the top plaster. I had a little um, a tear point. Oh, did it? That's, oh. Well, then I don't know how to use my knife. Oh, yeah. Definitely need to use that. <laughs> Brought to you by Grizzly Bears. Yes. So we're trying the Old Monarch. What's the, what's the mash bill on that? It's on the back. Yeah, so um, 
Yep, it's a blend of rye and bourbon whiskey. So we've got a blend, um, but it, it so it aged um, at least three years. So mm -hmm. whatever that might have been longer or shorter, um, but um, well, like I said, you know I, I enjoyed that one. Um, cool. So and with that, and I, you know if you've watched some of the other times I've been on, I like rye pretty well, mostly right there. So. Um, so that's probably why. Um, cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's talk. Now, is that not the coolest? I love the paper on that, and it's it's a basically a tribute to John Muir, who says the mountains are in calling and I must go. Oh, oh you already poured it. Right. Yeah, I already poured us two of those. Let's try. It. Mm. Wow. Yeah. That is good. You know, and that's what, I think that's, that is what, you know, if you know what you're getting into right off the top mm -hmm. of it, you know, you're getting, you know, a lot of those flavors the, from the, the rye wheat, mm -hmm. but then you're also getting kind of the spiciness as well, yeah. you know, right at the front, which, yes. you know, it's not, not that it would be hiding. Some might hide, you might say, but. Wow. I get the a little fruity flavor from maybe that's from the rye, not sure, but it's it's very very sweet. Mm -hmm. Just just a hunt, a hint of fruit, not a whole lot, but yeah, the cherry. Yeah, mm. that is that. Yeah, is I really like that, you know, and, and they they too. haven't been around for two too terribly long I don't mm -hmm. think but um made in California and for all you tree huggers out there buy a bottle and they plant a tree you, what? you can't be I don't there. know hey this is a uh, this is Bigfoot <laughs> territory in here so we like that <laughs> exactly that is really really good so I could I could drink this just about every day but I won't because it's hard to find out here yeah, and uh, I couldn't help myself when I had a, a, when you gave me that bottle. I I was like, oh, I better save it. I better save it. And every time I said that, I was pouring a glass. That is the smoothest, <laughs> and it finishes a little longer than you think. I can taste it a little bit longer. It's kind of nice, nice taste. I, I really like that. So now yeah, we're gonna try. Um, oh, okay. This is the Grizzly Bear. Yeah, so. Is it called the Grizzly Bear? Mm hmm. Distilled in 2016, bottled in 2021. Mm -hmm. they, they tell you everything about it. I appreciate that, you know. So um, it's a five year aged. 22% rye, 69% corn. Wow. Five barley and 4% wheat. That's nice to be upfront about, like, whatever they're making. You know, there's so many whiskeys out there, and, you know. Yeah. I think it's good to know, hey, I like that more. Why was that? Did it have more rye? Did it have more, you know, corn? You know, things like that. Yeah, and you know what? That may be the sweetest smell of whiskey I've ever smelled. It, it to me, it rivals Old Forester and Buffalo Trace is just that really great smell on the nose or even the Woodford Double Oak. Those, that's all great smells. Do you taste like yeah um, citrusy way back in there for too. sure yeah and you know it's definitely mm -hmm. you know when I took this first sip I was like wow that's young it's spry it's jumping all over my mouth there's flavors just bling 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 mm -hmm. bling bling you know but I mean you know some people don't you know some people are like yeah. oh, I need a, this, yeah. this is just five years old so it is young you know yeah. but I, you know as that goes <laughs> Not a lot of oakiness and, and a little bit of citrusy, so if you don't like the citrus taste. But it's not overbearing by any stretch, I don't mm -mm. think. No, I can't get mad at that. Wow. Um, 
slight bitterness. I just caught a little bit of bitterness. I but, did too, yeah. But, um, and I guess, you the, know, right after a lot of fruit. Is that from the barley? Yeah, I mean, it's or, hard. I mean, me, I'm just not smart enough to tell you, but right. um, it's there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> little, little bitterness. Uh, mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of, I'm not getting a lot of ether out of that. What's the proof of this? It's a uh, hundred proof because that's uh, so the bond. Wow. Right? Now, for a hundred proof whiskey, that is smooth. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is, um, you know, it's in, it, so I, I, you know, and I think other people too. I still appreciate the bottle and bond, and, and I'll, uh -huh. um, you know, I will oh, kind of, yeah. if I see it, I, I do want to try it. You know, it's a, yeah, kind of tried and true. It's a, an American kind of, you know, uh, single season, yeah. single distillery. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! And it's the it says the grizzly beast, not the grizzly bear. The grizzly beast yeah. <laughs> is a giant sequoia located in Yosemite National Park that mm -hmm. has over two billion leaves. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, you know that's funny. They name it after that because it is kind. Of, it is, and you know with that ride I was saying it's mm -hmm. or the the youth. It's kind of jumping it. It does, you could say maybe it's big, you know? Mm -hmm. It does have a lot of, there's a lot of flavors in there. Now I'm gonna try this, the old Monarch again, real quick. Mm. Now that, that is, that's to me, that's like the really, I'm, I'm more of like a bourbon guy, so I really like this. Not, and they're both bourbons, and there's no doubt. But with this, mash bill of the barley and wheat that's giving you some more flavors i like them both they're good yeah and this you know because it has all those blends so it's mm -hmm. it's got rye whiskey in it it's got bourbon in it but it um it, you know some people will turn their nose at blend and i just don't think that that's yeah right you do you just it's kind of this whole thing with like single malt scotch it's like yes that is good don't get me wrong but <laughs> yeah. you know Give blends a chance. Don't be. Uh, yeah, all we are saying is give don't, blends a don't, chance. Yeah. yeah, don't be stuck up on. Because that is true. People are like, oh, I'm not, I'm not drinking blends. So. I'll let me eat single yeah. mosh guys. Like, okay, did you eat McDonald's burgers instead of uh, <laughs> Burger King too? I, like, what are you, what are you doing? Mm. Guys, Redwood Empire. It's good. It's, it's really good, good. So appreciate you watching this. And. There you go. I get A, B, C, D. This is an A. This is an A to me. Maybe A minus. But I this think, is definitely Yeah, an a. I think I would go ahead and put this. I, I do think this is a really nice, in the world of blended of, that I've tried, which, you know, maybe not as prolific as some others. I do think that that's top. You know, so I'll go ahead and slap an A on that. I think I'm going to give this a B. Um, it's really nice. Um, but, you know, there's other bonds that I think... I don't, know, I don't know, but at the same time, just to have that label on your shelf. That's it. Yeah, I'm going to give it an A because of the label mm -hmm. uh, and because that's a really cool, different yeah. mash bill. So it's different. And so A minus for me, nice. A for A for, for yeah. this one. And uh, so like and subscribe. And also check out the shop too. Yep. Get you a nice uh, Tearsman shirt. But next, uh, next time, we're going to. We'll be back. Yeah, we got to do some teaser. flavored whiskeys. Yeah. They'll be coming up soon.